Welcome to this tutorial, our tutorial number 10. In the previous uh, lesson, we looked at uh, queries and specifically uh, text queries. Re but remember, previously I had explained and told you that we shall have three categories where we have the text queries, the number queries, and then the date queries. So in our previous lesson, we looked at text queries, and in this lesson, we are particularly going to look at the number queries, which will also cover recurrences. Now here comes our question that we are supposed to look at tonight, or in this lesson, and we've been told to create a table called, a database called Current Cells 2020, and uh, this is how the database structure should be. These are the field formats that should exist in our table. Remember we have these fields and these are the formats for their data types. That means when you're creating the data types you have to ensure that these are the field formats. So we go we shall go and create our database like we all know how to create a database, add those fields and then format them the way they are supposed to appear. So here we go. Let's go and create our database. So here is our database created with the name Canteen Cells 2020 and the item table 2020. Then we have all the fields here. But remember, these fields have been given a format that we're supposed to edit them with. So when you look at uh, our question, the format for the field for this data type of the item ID is given as SJV dash and then it should be with those three place values so remember these sjv and the dash which are supposed to be constant have to be in double quotes to make them constant that's one then uh for unit price maybe let's just check in the question we have this uh these are the field formats we have for unit price it should be formatted as shillings so that symbol must be displayed so we go and come to shilling unit price the format should be should be shs and then with four i mean with a hash comma sorry right here it's hash comma hash 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 the hashes here represent what we call the place values for the numbers each single hash represents a number and this comma is the a thousand separator then what else are we supposed to change remember for the location this one is for the date of birth the format is day then month then year and then finally for the location this should be a lookup wizard so we can create a lookup wizard uh, we have two we shall type in then we have two options it's either a or b then we move to next we limit to the list and then finish so we go back to our table we save the changes and there our table is so we now go and start populating it using our records that have been given in the table so now we have our table uh, with already which is already populated all our records have been entered and uh, here we can now be able to start uh, working on our uh, queries that have been asked of us to create and when we look at the question here they're asking us to create a query the first query is to create one which will return items with a quantity above 500 and save it as above 500 so we now go to query we can create query design and we add the table 
uh, we are going to add all the fields for for a mean time then we go to quantity because we are dealing with a quantity and it's above 500 so we use the greater than sign above 500 that is greater than 500 so we run it and if you check through the quantity here you can see that all this is above 500 so we go and save it as above 500 because that's what they told us we save that one then uh, the second criteria is to is to create one which will return members whose quantity is between 800 and 2000 and save it as between so we go and create we create its query design add our table add all the fields and still dealing with the quantity they have told us between 800 so we write and say between 800 and 2000 I think that's what the question was saying it's between 800 and 2000 so we come and run this one and indeed if you see this is between 800 and 2000 all these quantities here are between 800 and 2000 so we come and also save it they told us to save it as between that is okay so we close off this one then the third criteria or the third query they have asked us to use a criteria that will display those whose quantity is below 1000 so we go and create the query we created the query still we are dealing with the quantity I add all the fields the quantity is below 1000 for below we use the less than sign like that one below 1000 if you can uh, if you want to see that is the sign I can uh, try to zoom it I can zoom it and we see so I can zoom it I can take it to to 18 so that you are able to see well so it's less than 1000 then when I run this one here I must be able to get all those members whose quantity all those items whose quantity is less than 1000 I also save this one as they told us to save it as less than 1000 with I mean below 1000 so we save that one the next uh, query is to display members or items that cost less than 1000 so we go to the cost and this should be less than 1000 we go and create the query uh, we add the field the table add the fields and then we come now to price because they have told us the price so we say less than 1000 still we also write the less than sign then 1000 and run so you can now see here the price is indeed less than 1000 we've left the quantity but we are now on the price it's less than 1000 so we save this one as well save it as less than 1000 then the next uh, query is to uh, display items that cost 700 and below 700 and below that means 700 inclusive so we go and create remember this criteria or this query wants even those that cost 700 
to be inclusive to be displayed so we come and create and uh, we've said 700 and below that means 700 is inclusive and still we are dealing with the price so we shall say less or equal to less or equal to 700 that means 700 is inclusive and if i can just zoom this that's what we are talking about then i say okay and we run so if you can check here the price only that it's unfortunate we don't have a price of 700 i'm so sure but it is inclusive supposing we had here an item with 700 if i can just change this one to 700 if i can change it to 700 uh, i refresh then i go to the query and also refresh it is now here displayed 700 so it's inclusive i think that has been a you have been able to see that so we also come and uh, save this one we save it as uh, 700 and below that is our criteria for this query we close it we close then we also come to another query here that will display items whose price is more than 1000 save it as more than 1000 so we go and create a query query design same steps nothing to confuse us uh, we add the fields and still on the unit price we are saying greater than 1000 we run and here the unit price you can see is greater than 1000 so we also save this one we say more than more than 1000 well and then finally we have another criteria items that cost exactly 1500 exactly so we come and create that criteria we come and create that query and still we add that table uh, then we add all the fields in our uh, we add the fields down here then we come to unit price we said exactly that means equals to 1500 and then we run and you can see all these ones actually cost 1500 so this brings us to the end of this question and i'm hopeful that everyone has been able to see what we have dealt with or how we have dealt with those numbers right there and that's how we deal with a uh, criterion that uh, requires us to have the numbers it's just the symbols or we can use the words as well so that is uh, the end of this uh, tutorial and let's wait for the next tutorial and see what new thing we are going to be able to learn thanks for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel with julie moses